So I want to share with you a little bit about filter envelopes now. And the best way to start is basically to refresh you on what an envelope itself does. So what we'll start with is a volume envelope so that you get an idea of the concept of the envelope. So I've just got this simple sound here, nothing special. And this here is our envelope, okay? So basically a, an envelope is based upon the attack time, how long it takes to start. That's an immediate attack. Whereas as we move this up, that's a softer attack. And then as it goes further, it'll sound more like a fade in. So that's, that's our attack. Then our sustain is almost like a, a volume level. So in other words, it's easier to kind of show you with a, a shorter attack. But what will happen is the attack will, will come up and then it'll settle on a certain volume afterwards. So if the sustain is set to a, a lower volume, this will actually sound a little bit snappier. Hear that little snap? Whereas if the sustain is high, it's going to stay at the same volume, but you won't hear as much of that snap. And then the decay is how long it takes to go from the peak down to settle in this volume. So now it's going up to the peak and then it's slowly moving down to here. And I can kind of show you more by making a very long decay. So that almost sounds like a fade, but I'm not letting go of the key. And then the, the release is when I actually let go of the key, how long does it play? If it's all the way back, it's going to immediately stop. So I hold the key down. I let go, it stops completely. If I pull this out, let's do just a couple seconds here. It'll be a slow fade. So that's the basic concept of an envelope. And all different types of envelopes are used from these principles, but they add certain features dependent on the type of envelope that it is. You could have envelopes for your LFOs, you can have them for your pitch, you can have them obviously for filter, which I'm going to show you now. So let's jump over to our next example here. We've got the, the filter turned on. And I'm going to start with a simple low to high filter envelope. So what I want to do is, here's a sound with no filter on it. And now what I want it to do is I want it to go from a low frequency up to letting in all the frequencies within a certain amount of time, which right now it's 312 milliseconds. I'm going to extend that to make it easier to hear. So I'll, I'll make it like three seconds. It's going to go from low to high. Then it's going to stay at that volume, and then the release time is about is 404 milliseconds. So when I release the note, the filter is slowly going to fade back down. So I'll show you how that sounds. And as you notice, it kind of goes from a low frequency up to a high frequency. So the things that you you need to do to set this thing up is you're going to set your envelope. If your envelope is at 0%, that means that the envelope is not going to be active at all. So the sound's not going to be affected at all by this. So this is the amount that the filter is affected. So if I hold this note down and let it hit its peak, and then I bring the envelope down, you'll notice that the peak frequency is going to go down as well. So I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so that's all the way open. And now I'll bring the envelope down. So 
So that's how you set where you want the top frequency to be or how far you want it to open. I'm just going to keep it on 100%. Now you can create a shorter attack. You can you can make nice little introductions to the sound, you know, filter sweeps going really quickly. So as you can see, this has a lot of uses. Now sometimes you might want to do, for example, you might want to get rid of the lows as it's rising. And in that case, you would set a, a high pass filter and you'll notice when we open it as it raises in frequency you'll notice that it's the the whole sounds gonna go higher and higher and higher and it's gonna lose the lower frequencies and I'll show you that right now so it kinda of sounds like it disappears and there you go so even though the sound is still plain technically the frequency is so high that you can't hear it now if I were to bring the envelope down a little bit then you'd be able to hear the frequency longer as I hold the note down so now when I play But when I open it all the way up, then it's going to hit the highest frequency where you can't really hear it. So let's go ahead and do the opposite now. And what we want to do is we want to make the filter go from high to low. And what we do is we start off with the frequency we want it to begin at. So I want it to begin at the highest frequency for, right, for this example. And I'm going to put the filter type as a high frequency filter. This way, as the frequency moves down, it's going to open up the lower frequencies. It's going to let lower and lower frequencies pass. And then what I want to do is I want to set the envelope to a negative number. That way, instead of it going from low to high, it's going from high to low. And now, you'll hear the opposite. like so. If you hit that res a little higher you can you can hear it sweep the frequencies. So that is just letting the low frequencies kind of pass through. Now if I set this to a low pass, what will happen is the high frequencies will fade out and you will only hear the lower frequencies. Like so. So those are some ways that you can use a filter envelope. Uh, also, when using the sustain, you can actually have the filter rise and then lower again. Or in this case, lower and then raise again. In other words, it will take, in this case, it'll take two seconds to reach its peak. And then it will take, we'll make it two seconds here, to go all the way back up. And then where we set this is, you know, where in the frequency spectrum it's going to fall to. So I'll just make it fall all the way back down. So in this case, it's going to go from high to low and then from low to high. Like so. I'll drag this out a little further. Just like that. So there's a lot of things that you can do with a filter envelope. I hope that kind of gives you a basic idea. What I'll do now is I'll go to a sampler instrument just to show you that the same thing can be done in the sampler. So what I'm doing here is I've got a low pass filter here. I've got my filter envelope turned on. I've got my filter turned on as well. And here's the amount. So 
the top amount here is 72 and the bottom amount is negative 72. So we'll turn it all the way up and we've set the attack to 1.9 seconds. We'll just stretch that out a little bit. And the release time is set to 10 seconds. So it's going to do a slow fade back down. So this is going to go from low and open up to high. And then when you let go, it's going to filter back down to low. And if I make the attack shorter, it'll be more like uh, you'll, you'll hear the sweep a lot quicker. And it might not be the best example because there's not a whole lot of high frequency content in there. But all the essentials are the same, you know, when it comes to filter envelopes on a sampler or on a synth instrument. So I hope that explains a little more about using filter envelopes and that you're able to creatively put it to use.